Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad. Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. Amma ba'd. Qala Allahu subhanahu wa ta'ala. Fi kitabihi al-kareem. Wa ma khalaqtu al-jinn wa l-intila li'abudun. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, I have not created jinn and mankind except for the purpose of worshipping me. That's the purpose of life. وقال سبحانه وتعالى في كتاب الكريم واعبدوا الله ولا تشركوا به شيئا الله سبحانه وتعالى says and worship Allah and do not associate partners with him وقال سبحانه وتعالى في كتابه الكريم وقضى ربك ألا تعبدوا إلا إياه وبالوالدين إحسانا الله سبحانه وتعالى says and your Lord has commanded that you worship none but him and that you be righteous with your parents again all of those ayat illustrate for us the importance of tawheed of the oneness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala they give us the purpose of life a meaning and the muslim the believer has a meaning in their life in his or her life to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, experience the khair. And along with that, righteous conduct by being respectful and obedient to one's parents is also from the con conduct of the believer. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ordered that, meaning it's an act of ibadah, it's worship. And as we mentioned, the Prophet ﷺ said, Su'ila, the Prophet ﷺ said, Ma min shayin athkulu fi mizana mu'min yawm al-qiyamah min husnu khulqul wa inna allaha yubghidhu al-fahish al-biri. The Prophet ﷺ said, There isn't a thing which weighs heavier in the scale of the believer than good manners and very Allah hates sinful and wicked speech. Showing us again, righteous conduct. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his messenger alayhi salatu wasalam have ordered us with tawheed, worshipping him and him alone and with having righteous conduct. That's what the believer is ordered to do. And one of the ways, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned in that ayat, وَقَضَى رَبُّكَ لَا تَعْبُدُوا إِلَّا يَهُ وَبِالْوَالِدَيْنِ إِحْسَانًا Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned that the type of righteous one of the righteous deeds to fulfill is being good with one's parents. That's what the believer strives to do, is be righteous and respectful and kind and gentle and obedient to one's parents. and have good manners in general as that will be one of the heaviest things on the scale of the believer on, on the day of judgment how you, what kind of conduct you have and we ask Allah the Almighty to bless us with amna fi rizqan tayyibah wa amalan muttaqabbilan wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam